Airmen Engineers. Last week, in conjunction with the 72nd birthday of the United States Air Force, our Chief of Staff outlined the Air Force of the future and the path for how we get there. He detailed a move towards multi-domain operations with a focus on integrated base defense. So what does this mean for us as Airmen Engineers? It means that how we train and operate at home mirrors how we will fight. It means that we can no longer operate under the assumption that our installations are sanctuaries. And it means that after two decades of high deployment tempo, we must return our focus to full spectrum base recovery after attack. In order to enable you to continue carrying out our mission, we have created two foundational strategies to guide our civil engineer path. And it is critical that every single one of you understands their purpose and the role that you play in mission success. The infrastructure investment strategy, known as the I2S, is reinventing the way that we as a service are funding and managing our infrastructure. This forward-leaning approach is critical to operationalizing our use of asset management principles at the squadron level. The purpose of the I2S is to arm airmen engineers at our bases with the tools, resources, manpower, and training needed to ensure installation health and resilience and to enable you to navigate the last tactical mile of the asset management transformation we began over a decade ago. This strategy at its core is about readying our bases for tomorrow's fight. Over the past two decades, our squadrons have borne the brunt of manpower shortages, which, coupled with a high deployment tempo, have had a direct impact on our full spectrum readiness. In response, the revitalized civil engineer squadron strategy is focused on restoring the warrior ethos of airmen engineers properly training and equipping to meet combatant commander requirements, building agility, responsiveness, and efficiency to meet mission requirements, and effectively managing built infrastructure through clearly defined and stable business processes. Ultimately, it's about revitalizing a culture of readiness as we prepare for what conflicts may lie ahead. Over the coming months, we will continue to communicate the implementation of these strategies and their impact on our organization. You'll start to hear about things like manpower studies, BRAT, and ATSO, and the return of readiness challenge in 2020. I highly encourage you to subscribe to the Civil Engineer Weekly Newsletter to stay up to date on these efforts and other important initiatives happening in our community. While our focus, our training, and our missions may change, one thing has proved constant throughout our history. Victory tomorrow depends on agile, innovative, and ready airmen engineers today. And like those who came before us, we will continue to lead the way.